You will go on with our questions. Let's forget for the moment the questions. We'll come back to it. What is happening to all of us living in this world, which is quite terrible? If you have travelled at all, you will see the danger of travelling. Airport explosions, terrorists, and all the rest of it. When you look at it all, how do you face the world? We may be old, but the coming generation, grandchildren, children, and so on. What's going to happen to them? Do you consider that at all? What's the future of the coming generation, of which you are part? How do we educate them? What is the purpose of education? We're all presumably educated. We've been to school, college, university, if we are lucky, or we have been educating ourselves by looking at all these events that are taking place in the world and learning from that. But that learning is very limited, very small, narrow, and if one had children and grandchildren, or great-great-grandchildren, How do we treat them? How, what is our response? Aren't we concerned about them at all? I believe there are about 500,000 children run away from home in America, end up in New York and prostitution and all that. Do you understand what, what it all means? In a country like this, part of the rest of the world, there is no poverty, there are no slums. There are really, literally, no people starving. There are slums in America, in England, perhaps in Paris too. Russia, and all those people in India and Asia is quite appalling, degrading. And when we look at ourselves and our future generation to come, what's going to happen to them? the same pattern being repeated, the same callousness, the irresponsibility of being trained in an army to kill thousands and thousands and be killed. What's our responsibility? Or you don't want to think about all that at all. 
Oh, you're only concerned with our own pleasure, with our own problems, with our own self-centered, egotistic activity. This is really a very serious question, frightening, agonizing. Either one becomes bitter, angry, or throws up one's hand. And when you look at all this, what's your responsibility? The agony of all that. You understand? What do we do? Do we have proper schools? What place is knowledge? in all this, whether it be theoretical, phys physical knowledge, theoretical physicists, and so on, what relationship have we to all this? The tortures. Every country has indulged in torture of other human being. My mother may be tortured. You understand? My son, myself, not myself, I'm talking, mm -hmm. may be tortured for some information, for some nationalistic, communistic, or or some democratic reasons, what's going on in Northern Ireland, Beirut, and so on, Afghanistan. Do we shed tears? Or not being able to do anything, become cynical, bitter, and throw up our hands at all this? So um, we have to consider all these things, not merely our own progress, our own happiness, our own self-centered activity. May we go on with the questions? Maybe that will be more pleasant. Less challenging, less demanding on our energies and capacities of the brain. The brain has extraordinary capacity. If you have watched all the progress of the technological world, amount of energy in the field of medicine, whether it's right or wrong, that's not our concern. In the field of technology, computers, surgery, eye operation, tremendous advancement. Incalculable advancement is going on and on and on. In other directions, the brain is very limited. I 
and that limitation is being used by the technological world. You know? We are being exploited ruthlessly. There is a whole African tribe that are being deliberately killed through starvation. Whole people moved from one from their country to other part of other country, far away from their own native land. The communists have done it. They are still doing it. They are concentration camps. Not only the concentration camps of tyrannies, but also the concentration camps of the gurus. Right? You don't mind my saying that? And the concentration camps of all the monks in the world. This is really a tremendous problem. 